Hello and welcome to Cable Vision. Today, I thought I was going to do an easy mission for Kibble Space Program 2. Uh, and that mission is recreating Virgin Galactic's mission uh, for the public. It's a public space program if you haven't already heard about it. Um, not sure who's making it. Anyway, I thought this was going to be an easy mission. Be nice and easy to do, just taking a space plane to orbit. But it was anything but easy. In fact, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this from now on or not. But I'm, at least on this video, I'm hoping at the end of it to post, uh, put, I mean, put some videos there showing um, some of my different failed attempts at this mission. I'll just show the parts where I'm, the rocket's crashing that's made me cancel. <laughs> I know I won't show too many of them, but uh, anyway, to the build, uh, this is the rocket right here. Uh, it wasn't perfect recreation if you look at it, because I didn't do the full build time lapse, because I'm just trying to get it done under three minutes. Uh, thanks, Marvin Hooper. I'm just uh, following your what you told me to do here. Just make the uh, build time lapse. I mean, the build time. Yeah, the build time lapse nice and short and quick. So I'm just gonna be doing that. So I'm making it about three minutes, no, two minutes. Anyway, um, so now we're putting on that little those side fins that are on it. Um, unfortunately, because we're in Kerbal Space Program, not a perfect recreation for normal world rockets. Um, the rocket here is going to be a little bit different than the normal rocket. So like, it's going to have a few extra engines, more powerful engine, uh, just a few extra things that I don't believe the Virgin Galactic uh, in mission had. Anyway, now we've uh, finished make hooking up those wings. I didn't include the build of the uh, launcher just because it was it, the video would be gone for two hours long if I did that. Uh, this mission has taken me uh, so many days. It's basically a, a weak amount of days, seven days of trying and testing and testing and trying. I even uh, I was even working on this mission before patch 3.1 released. So. Um, or 0.3.1, or I think that's what it is, 0.0.0.3.1. Anyway, um, so now we are just finished uh, working with the wings, and here we are crossfading to the launch. And um, I, if only you knew how many times this took me, uh, the music's kicked in, and I was just uh, fiddling with the staging there because it was off. Anyway, uh, oh dear, it looks like I might have forgotten to put passengers in this aircraft. Oh dear. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I'm saving the game a bit too early. Also, the graphics are down quite a bit. Uh, I think I may have mentioned this in my last one, just because I am getting really sick of having th low frame rate in Kerbal Space Program 2, so I've just bumped down a lot of the settings. Not all of them. I've kept water quality pretty good. Uh, clouds, I'm still working on trying to get clouds at a, a workable usage. That does look good. I mean, the way they are now, they're about as good as KSP-1, but that's if you haven't got volumetric clouds from Black Rag, which you should definitely check out and get them. They're beautiful mod, beautiful clouds. I haven't used them myself, but they look absolutely amazing. Anyway, uh, oh yes, another mention, just while we're, just while I'm doing the boring part of getting our uh, trajectory right so we can land on the ground. Um, Marvin Hoover, and I think it was... Uh, oh my goodness, I need to remember. I'll put a title on screen of what it is, uh, the name of it, YouTube channel. Uh, partnered together, and they have made a server for KSP1, which you can join into. I'm not going to tell you any name or anything of it, um, but you can go to Marvin's Discord, um, Discord server, and the, he has the information there. So uh, if you want to go into uh, online, uh, I'm, uh, pr I'll probably be playing on it uh, soon too. Just go there and uh, yes, it'll be uh, it's LMP, uh, which is Lunar Multiplayer Mod for KSP One. So check that out and uh, I've one of the, like those two should be there, and I'll probably be on it every now and again. Anyway, so now getting past that, here we are pushing ourselves into orbit. Uh, well, no, not into orbit. We're just... What's the case is, is uh, I don't want to land this in the water. I want it to be realistic. I want it to land it on the ground. Unfortunately, I don't know of any other launch sites around Kerbin yet, because, well, they haven't really told us about anything. So, 
Anyway, I'm just pu pushing myself out so I can actually get to it pretty easily. I probably didn't have to act add those extra two engines on the inner part of the plane, but I did. And I also added some wings to the front of the like main rocket craft part, just because it adds extra stability. I was having problem stability problems, so I fixed it up. Also, in case you haven't noticed, this time I've actually had the speed of this what's happening here at normal speed, so this isn't sped up at all because of how short the mission is. Anyway, uh, now we are starting to get uh, engine blackout uh, for the oxygen engines. There you go, now we're having some problems with the engines. So, it's time to decouple and say goodbye to the rest of the ship. So, now we are going to carefully maneuver ourselves away from the main carrier aircraft. Unfortunately, the carrier aircraft is going to have a fiery demise or explosive demise. It's uh, um, don't have any mods or any way of uh, rescuing it, and quick saves are really dramaish in KSB2. Um, so I'm not going to bother with them. So you just have to imagine it landing safely. So now would be a good time to ask you, the viewer. If you are enjoying this video, will you please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment down below what you think I should do next, or what I should do next, any improvements, any ideas about anything, all are appreciated. Don't feel afraid to post in the comments, even if it's swear words, of course, don't try and don't, you don't need to use them, but uh, anything even bad, even what I would call bad, just, just say it, I'm, I want to hear it, as long as, as long as it's like, and it helped me, it's not like hate speech. Anyway, so, uh, Kerbal's jumping off, and we're going to have a little uh, run around the craft. They didn't do this in the real mission, they were moving around inside the craft, and they had a few, a bit more store, uh, capacity in it. But this is like a smaller mission, because the other ones, the size that they, the size parts that they use, we don't exactly have that in KSP1, so I'm using this. And we've also got the over massively oversized vector right there, but uh, it was the only engine that was actually powerful enough to push us into orbit, so I had to use that, but no problem. Anyway, now I've got a, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, I also put a reaction wheel there just so it's, you know, can turn easier in space. Uh, I did add an RCS to the bottom uh, for when I'm trying to tilt myself up to go straight up once I've decoupled from the uh, taker upper, or whatever it's called. <laughs> launcher but um I didn't need that because of the vector engine anyway so now we boarded the craft and we're preparing to re-enter and land somewhere on that little patch of land there so believe me I've done this this mission right here I've done it at least 20 times at least 20 and it's becoming really exhausting so I probably won't be making any KSP2 missions at least uh, also, please subscribe because if you subscribe, you will be able to see some of my KSP1 missions because YouTube doesn't seem to like my KSP1 missions. So, um, if you want to see KSP1 missions, subscribe so that you get notifica notificated, notifi when you get a notification for when I have uh, released a KSP1 video. Anyway, also, if you happen to be wondering, all the music in the videos from KSP2, like, someone else has pre-recorded it and uh, given it to me so uh, to use it anyway so here we are coming down and oh yes Marvin Huber uh, I know you'll be watching this video I'm really happy for you that you've reached 500 subscribers uh, really happy for you and uh, I hope uh, that you'll make it to a thousand pretty soon so I'm happy for you for that anyway back to the video um, this is where we had a little bit of a boo-boo while coming down <laughs> coming down here. We had a little bit of an accident with the aircraft, uh, which hopefully doesn't happen in real life anytime soon. Um, so this is the version of Galactic Recreation, so... Hopefully... Anyway, uh, here we are coming down. I'll probably be cutting out... You probably haven't noticed them because I will have cut them out, but I'm going to be cutting out all the ums and ahs that I usually do, so I still do them, but you shouldn't notice them. Anyway, here we are having a problem here. I didn't quite come down at the right approach. Um, and we were coming up to a big lump in the ground, which, uh, as you will see soon, uh, does not do the rocket very much good. So, here we are coming down. 
and here's where the issue starts. There we are, see I kind of lost control right there. Um, also, another thing, you also will know that I can't fold up the wings because KSP2, you don't exactly have any proper things to move other parts. Anyway, we had a bit of a crash there, so I will do a very unnoticeable quick save, uh, quick load, sorry, and uh, go back to the last quick save, and we should be coming down, um, I probably should have sped this up a bit actually. Yeah, so, I don't think there's too much more to talk about with this mission, um, I'll probably just go over it again, that LMP server, go check that out, uh, that's uh, Lunar Multiplayer's uh, thing, check out uh, Marvin's Discord, it, it should have the information there, so I'll have Marvin's uh, link to his YouTube channel after this, uh, like at the end of the video, so uh, go to his YouTube channel and uh, he'll have a link to the Discord where you be able to see what how to get on the uh, multiplayer server. Uh, Marvin, if you don't want this uh, being like publicly displayed about the uh, server, like you don't want too many people to be on it, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll quiet down on that if you want me to. <laughs> I'd be happy to, uh, but I just for now, anyone who's watching this, go check that out. Um, it'll be uh, pretty fun, I think, uh, with, if we get a lot of people on it. Also, um, yeah, anyway, uh, here we are landed, and I will cut out the commentary pretty soon, so you can see some of my fails, and I'll put some funky music over it probably. So, Kerbal Vision signing out, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.